Welcome to your Wednesday episode of NC Trends. My name is Sean Bankali. So Thames is topping the Trends table, and this time it's not because of an award nomination or music collaboration. Nah. International music star Temi Lade Okweniyi, popularly known as Thames, has unfortunately postponed her upcoming shows in the United Kingdom due to health issues. She expressed sadness over having to reschedule the event after she was diagnosed with reflux laryngitis, a voice disorder caused by the backflow of stomach acid to the throat and voice box area. Hey gang, it breaks my heart to say this, but there is no other option for me. I have to take some time off to protect what is left of my voice. She wrote in an Instagram post on Tuesday. Apologizing to fans for the inconvenience, Thames promised that they would be getting the best show ever when she's back on her feet. And here are some comments that this post has generated. Toby underscore lover says, Thames, Pele, rest small. You safe, don't try. She's been singing back to back with very energetic performances. Sorry, Thames, we love you. <laughs> Dr. Cheesy says she should avoid the use of alcohol, tobacco, and caffeine. She should lose weight. She should eat frequently, small meal, and follow balanced diet, low acid level, low in fat, and not spicy food. O'Shea, social media doctors coming through with the help. We love it. And this one says, it's not your fault though, they've been playing only your part in essence and skipping the song <laughs> once it gets to Whiskey part. Talking about how Thames' version of the song with Whiskey has been on repeat and that is why <laughs> she lost her voice. Alright, that's on a very, very light note. Let's now go to Ethiopia where the people of Ethiopia have taken to social media to express their displeasure with Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed who said on Tuesday that the federal government has formed a committee to negotiate his forces from the rebellious northern region of Tigray as a key step towards peace negotiations. Now, with hashtags like I am Fano and never again, Ethiopians are insisting that negotiations must include Amhara representatives, else the negotiation conclusion will not be accepted. See some of their tweets online. Smear campaign against Fano will not work. If the Prime Minister is for justice, let us see him hold OLF accountable. Other than that, it's all talk by a guy who has no credibility. Hashtag, I am Fano. Still on that, we have this one by Aligas. Wow, this is beyond the pale. A sitting Prime Minister is accusing the Amara force, which fought and died in 10,000 to protect the country and the Federal Armed Force of High Crimes. I am dumbfounded. That's what she says. And this one says, his praise means nothing, his actions mean everything. He makes it seem like Fano was terrorizing the Amara people. If so, why did so many people go out to protest and also die for Fano? Hmm? Why? Well, another sad story currently trending on Twitter is the distressed tweet by Amira Sufian, who raised alarm on Tuesday after she was kidnapped in Abuja along with 16 other people, including three pregnant women and two children. In a series of tweets, Amira, who is said to be asthmatic with a high blood pressure, explained that they were abducted at gunpoint from different parts of Abuja by men in police uniforms and a van. She had shared her location with her WhatsApp contact, adding that her captors did not see her phone, thankfully, and this has gotten the attention of security agencies who are now tracking her via the location she shared with her WhatsApp contact. Many people are tweeting, some are praying, and Nigeria is open for the safe release of Amira and the other kidnapped victims. Here are some top tweets on this case. There's no update on this yet, even after it blew up. The Nigerian police and all other forces are aware and still no headway yet. Well, there's headway now. Is this how you react to a matter of life and death? Is this how you swore to protect your citizens? Well, thankfully, the police is now involved. Razak says this is happening in the federal capital territory, our very own capital. Our prayers are with you, Amira. I cannot even sleep. I hope and pray nothing happens to her and others. Oh, we are also hoping and seriously praying. Quincy says, if the security agencies fail to do anything reasonable after this, then we are all going to assume something is damn fishy. Because what else do they need? They should not have even allowed them to go far from Abuja. Because she tweeted almost immediately. Well, we're sure to bring you updates on this story as it unfolds. See you again on NC Trends. I am Sean Banfali.